previously in Finero. There's a guy I'm looking for. Your shoe is blue and red. <laughs> this is the guy. <laughs> this one is the guy I was looking for. <laughs> I had a word from God today. Your family is in a mess. But God tells me he's going to restore. I hear the word restored. Somebody stretch your hands towards this guy. God restore, restore power, power of the Holy Ghost. God restore your family in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Somebody with a hearing problem on my right. You're around there. God is healing you right now. Are you the one? Come. Which ear? Both. Right now in the name of Jesus. Be healed. Thank you, Jesus. I'm called Alex. Yeah. But I feel so good. Your ears are now open? Yeah, my ears are working. His ears have changed. Something in your life has changed. In the name of Jesus. Where is Vivian? There's a Vivian I'm looking for. Is your hair tight? Let me see it. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody stretch your hands towards her. I saw something like barrenness attack you in future. And I could also see that your mom also took some time to conceive. God delivers you. God delivers you. In Jesus' name. Give the Lord a mighty hand of praise. Give me your hand. God is fixing you. Power of the Holy Ghost. Now I want you to take just five seconds and clap for God. Clap for the rock of your salvation. There are many things that have been replaced in the body of Christ. And I'm going to show you some things today. You'll understand this message. That lady in yellow, come with a child. This is an overwhelmed woman. You know, I can literally feel the pain. You know, you can carry something until you're too overwhelmed. Saints, Jesus knows us. Now, let's continue. Psalm 61, verse 2. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, he says, lead me to a rock that is higher than I. This state of man has been going through the total sum of everything that would lead a man to give up. The feeling that you're not walking the course you're supposed to be following. You are walking a certain direction that you are not ordained to walk. You feel it like it's not your portion to walk it, but you're walking it every day. If you read the word they are overwhelmed, it also, like I told you, it has the word of darkness, right? You know how the Bible says that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Night is not just the physical experience, no. It is the spiritual experience of a man in darkness until illumination, which is the word. He says that this light shines in darkness. He says that you have a sure word of prophecy of which you do good to heed as a light that shineth in darkness until the day dawn and the day star rise in your heart. Weeping will endure when you're ignorant, but joy will come in the morning. Morning is not next day. Morning is the point of illumination. The moment illumination hits your soul, your day has begun. Some of you right now, it is morning. The Lord showed me a secret many years ago and he changed my ministry. The grace message shows the right way to walk out of sin and anything else that is not of God. The Bible has told us that by the law, no flesh shall be justified. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. In another scripture in Corinthians, it says the strength of sin is the law. We know that the moment we put the law on that altar, sin is going to be strengthened. So every time we preach grace, we are fighting sin. Because Romans is very clear. Sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. The ministry of death was written on stone. The ministry of life was written on the spirit. In Corinthians, when he speaks of the law, he says that the ministry of death, which was written on the tablets of stone. So the law also was on a kind of rock. It was written, but the rock of the law is different from the rock of your salvation, which is Jesus.
The Spirit of God bears the inscription of the ministry of life. Grace and Spirit are one entity. Grace is an inscription on the person of the Holy Spirit. That is why in Galatians it says, You foolish Galatians, who bewitched you? For how be it you began in the Spirit? And now you seek to be perfected in the flesh. He substituted grace for Spirit. They, they began in grace. Grace, Spirit, they are one. Grace is inscribed in the Spirit. Every time you see it, and you go back to the Lord, you're going to a lower rank. That is why if you are a child of God, examine yourself whether you've been the faith. Always keep an examination to make sure that you're never deceived into the law again. The Bible tells us that no man born by a woman was as anointed as John the Baptist. He says, verily I say unto you, among them that are born of women, there has not risen any greater than John the Baptist. None. Now, in John chapter 1, verse 15, the Bible says, John bear witness. He bore witness of him and Christ saying that this was he, he says, of whom I speak. He was talking about Jesus. He that cometh after me, he says, is preferred before me. For he was before me. And of his fullness have we all received grace for grace. Next verse. He says, for the law, now John is explaining, was given by Moses. Who is below me? He says, but grace and truth came by Jesus. When you're a man of the spirit, you overflow. You remember when Paul is finishing his last ministry. He says, now I'm ready to be offered up. And my time of departure is at hand. The place of offered up is like I'm overflowing. And under that, everybody under him. That's what he says in Philippians. For whether in the bonds or in the defense, the confirmation of the gospel. He says, ye are all partakers. That means there was something on, on Paul that used to pour into the people below him. That they would confirm the gospel because they partook of the grace of parenting on his life. Many of you read Psalms 45, my heart is indicting a good matter. He says, my heart is indicting a good matter. Hallelujah. He says, I speak of the things which I have made touching the king. He says, and my tongue is the pen of a ready writer. The next verse says, thou art fairer, you the preacher, than the children of men. He says, grace is poured into thy lips. Therefore God has blessed thee forever. Why? Because grace is poured on your lips. The moment God puts the message of grace on your spirit, your ministry will change. Your family will change. Your meditations will change. Your education will change. Why? Because your tongue is a pen of a ready writer. Your lips are flowing with grace. And what does God do? He blesses you forever. There's a difference between high and above. Now, the Bible says you're seated far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world. Now there's something there, but also in the world to come. That means in, in 2020, if there is a name that is going to come, you're above it. He says your obedience has come abroad, all oh men. He says, and now I would rather have you wise and to that which is good and very simple concerning evil. You have no business with the devil. You're seated above, above all principalities and powers. I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus. The old is past and now the new. Don't take me to a rock that is lower than I. When I'm overwhelmed, take me to a rock that is higher than I.